pretty much the beginning. You know, there's um, 12 subjects treated at UCLA. Johns Hopkins has treated about four. We've treated two. You know, that's a tiny, tiny group. You know, w between the three sites, when we're all done, we'll probably have anywhere about 70 to 80 subjects treated. That's, uh, and if there's an effect. If there's no effect, it's going to be hard to continue. If there's an effect in the UCLA study um, in communication with the principal investigator, Dr. Grobe, he showed me an abstract uh, of the of the study, and it looks you know there's a there's a there's a positive effect for reduction in anxiety and depression, which is what he was looking for. So that was a very sort of hopeful, positive sign. Um, and if at the end of the three studies there is a um, a signal or um, a uh, an effect, then you know we would probably go to the federal government um, through the NIH and. We'd have to think whether it's a National Cancer Institute or National Institute of Mental Health, NIMH, to petition the government to eventually do what's called a phase three study, which is usually at multiple academic medical centers involving several hundred patients. Um, but those are expensive studies. They're difficult to do. They, um, you know, labor intensive. So you need a lot of money to do that. And, and probably the, the private realm could not sustain that. So we're kind of is a private funding now to ultimately link to to federal funding and uh, many of the the researchers in, uh, in in the field here especially Roland Griffiths at Johns Hopkins has a lot of um, sort of history with that kind of funding and so we've already thought about what would be the mechanism to do that and we we just need to see if there is an effect or not before we do that